Dreadeff presents Healthcare Stories Dr. Clarissa Kripke Gordon Reitz Susan Lee and Aaron Reitz Part 2 Interviewed at the Ed Roberts Campus, Berkeley, California October 2012 The sound of Aaron paging through books can be heard throughout the interview. Well, Aaron's part of a new generation of people with developmental disabilities who have thrived as children with all the services that we put in the place since the 1970s and who ha have done so well that they've reached adulthood and are outliving their parents' ability to continue to care for them. And so we have done a great job of developing health care services for children and we just haven't developed the capacity of the health care system to care for adults when they age out of that system. With, with a new patient uh, with a developmental disability they all have complex lives and it's very helpful to do a home visit especially for a first visit because people are more calm and able to communicate because people are because you're able to meet with more family members and relevant people because you're able to see their environment which is very important for assessing what kind of equipment and what kind of skills they might have because people all of us behave fairly atypically when we're in a doctor's office so the the most some of the most important things that I do when I meet a new patient are to get to know who they are, what's their baseline, who, what are the, what are the patient's communication skills, what are their cognitive skills, what are their ability to move, their neuromuscular skills, um, do they, do they have vision, do they have hearing, do they have sensory integration challenges or differences and do they have any mental health behavior or seizures. So it takes, I, I do a very detailed functional assessment to look at all those different areas because illness tends to present as a, as a change in behavior or function and if you don't know what someone was like before then you don't know what's changed and if you don't know who somebody is in all of those domains then it's harder to predict what kinds of services and supports and equipment will help them to maximize their potential. It really helps to have enough experience working with people with developmental disabilities to know what types of things are common and what kinds of problems people have so that you can ask good questions. And I'll tell a little story about Aaron's communication. Like you say, he doesn't use words to speak very often, but Every time he comes in, I ask about whether he's in pain because I, I expect that over time, because of his gait, that eventually he's going to get arthritis in his, in his legs and knees. And so the one time I asked the caregivers if they thought he was in pain, and they said no. And then I inquired a little bit further, well, how do you know? And they said, well, because he's not making the grimaces and holding the part that hurts and doing the typical kinds of behaviors that people do when they're in pain. And I said, well, but he's autistic, and so maybe he has some differences in how he perceives pain in his body or how he expresses it. Um, and the caregiver said, well, now that you mention it, he really loves going on walks, but lately he hasn't been wanting to go on his walks. And I said, oh, that's a change in behavior. Why don't we just try some pain medicine and see what happens? And we gave him just some simple Tylenol, and he started to want to go on his walks again. Mm -hmm. So he was able to tell us when something was wrong if we were supporting him by asking the right questions. Mm -hmm. Aaron's vision has always been a, 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 an issue because he had, when he was about five, he had cataract surgery and he had his lenses removed and he, uh, it, it was uh, eye-opening uh, to all of us at the time. His, uh, the day of his surgery, he was given glasses. They did it one eye at a time and he wouldn't take them off 
uh, after that, and he was very small, not communicating at all, but he loved his glasses. So it was very clear that he was seeing um, much better um, for the first time, and he's been like that for 35 years. I'm so happy that we've been able to work with the specialist to preserve Aaron's vision because you can see how much he enjoys those books, and that's one of the first things that I noticed when I first came to your home. Healthcare Stories, made possible with generous support from the Special Hope Foundation. For more information, visit dreadf.org slash healthcare dash stories. This work is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 3.0 Unported License.